welcome to another power tip from Power Up Training. I'm Les. Here's your issue. The size of your bullets are too small or too big, or the numbers just don't seem to match. This often happens when you apply a new design template. Look at the example before. You'll see here that our little numbers aren't quite the same font size as the text. This can be fixed quite easily once you know the power tip. Let's go take a look. Let's get going on our power tip quick learning video on resizing bullets and numbers. This particular problem does not show up on all presentations. The issue is tied to the concept of design templates. Different design templates have different rules for the configuration. If we take a look at this particular one, which is called Ion Boardroom, yes, the numbers look small compared to the actual line text. If I look at this particular design, everything looks just fine. So what we need to do is realize that design templates may change the way that our sizing of our bullets and numbering looks. Let's go ahead and say we like this design template, but we want to fix the bullet numbering. So here's what we're going to do. It's important to recognize that like everything in PowerPoint, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you highlight what you're trying to change. In this case here, we'll highlight not all four lines, but just the first three so we can compare before and after. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to home. We're then going to go in our case here to the drop down list. In this case is the bullets and numbering and we'll choose bullet and numbering and bingo. Here's where the controls lie. It's in the size. In our situation, I want to exaggerate from the 80%, which is 80% the size of the existing font text. It's a little overboard to do 175, but we can see it. Bingo. The first three line items are big, big, big. Now we need to go through and do this slide by slide, line by line. No, 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 no. There's a much better way to do this. And that is something called slide masters. Look for our additional deep dive into mastering slide masters. But basically what this means is that if we go into view and then we choose slide master, any changes we make here is going to ripple through the whole presentation. So if I highlight all five levels and then I go in to repeat what we did just moments ago, we're going to go into home. We're going to do the drop down list for the bullets. Notice that we can do bullets and numbering and change it across the whole presentation. I'm going to go from the 80%, which was standard with this particular design template to 110. We'll click on OK, and that looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks when we apply it to the rest of our presentation. We'll go to Slide Master. We'll choose Close Slide View. And bingo, everything looks great on this particular page. The size seems appropriate. If I go to this page, no, 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 something's wrong. Oh, I know why. We did this in a previous slide. Let's reset this back to match the slide master. So right click, reset slide, and now it looks fine. And actually, if we look at our numbers, the numbers look great too. Although there are issues with the line spacing indentation, but sure enough, we've got other quick tips for those. Look for those videos. With that, you now know how to fix the problem with the resizing bullets and numbering. Fixing bullet sizes are easy if you know where to look. If you need other power tips from Power Up Training, please subscribe to our channel. Subscriptions help greatly. And if you like this video, like it because likes encourages me to make more training videos for you. Lastly, if you haven't already, take a look for our masterclass that will explain to you how to create PowerPoint from beginning all the way to standing up on stage. In two and a half hours, you can become a PowerPoint power user. Until then, power up.